Cronenberg uh, can restate her motion, and then and then we'll have it for discussion, and I'll be able to respond. Sure. Just want to be clear on procedures, as I've not been a part of um, a revote after a vote has taken place. Is there anything that we need to do procedurally um, in order to do that? So I guess my question is: Are is are we having discussion so that you can speak to Ms. Merriweather's question, or is the intent for us to have action on the motion? And if that is the case, is there anything else that we need to do in order to have uh, a second uh, action taken on the same motion? Yes, because it did not die or it did not pass. Or it did not pass. I came back during the meeting. The meeting has not been closed. The meeting is not over, so it's still agendized. It's still every speaker that wanted to speak on it who spoken. And I listened to every speaker. I watched every. I can name Dan Romero, Linda Lazito, Charlie Cowan, Don Gosney, Robert Stutterford, Wayne Ellis, um, uh, Norma uh, uh, Martinez. They all spoke to the other. There was 11 speakers to the item, and so I heard Robert Stutterford. I even heard Robert Stutterford be told, rightfully so, that he can't be critical of the people by our chair at the time, Mr. Medrano. And so I uh, followed the discussion. I understood the discussion. I'm versed. I heard all the speakers. So I just mentioned that for the record so everybody knew that I heard all the pros, all the cons. And, and forgot, the 11th speaker was Chris Hunt from the Taxpayers Association. So, And I just recited that off the top of my head so it's very fresh in my memory. So I have no problem discussing this item. Mr. Thurman? Yeah, I always wondered if you had a photographic memory. I think you just confirmed that by reciting who the um, speakers were. Um, and I wasn't uh, questioning um, whether or not you were current on the record of the pros and cons. I just wanted to make sure that we, um, because it's unusual to revote in the same meeting, that we just state whatever we need to state procedurally so that we can do that so that um, any action that this board might take will will stand. So that was my uh, I, I have no problem with that. And then even later, it would stand even if somebody said, because we can just reaffirm how we voted. We've done that in the past. We just reaffirmed. So I have no problem bringing that up and uh, being able to speak to that, because all the speakers have been heard. It's all been discussed and been debated. Now it's just board deliberations, and I've returned to be able to be part of that deliberation. So I have no problem with that. Ms. Gamba? I would suggest that the board, if you wish to deliberate on this matter again, that you vote to re-deliberate on the matter, take a vote in order to say you're re-deliberating on the matter, and then take the subsequent vote to um, reconcile the matter because it was a tie vote. Yeah, we're just re-deliberating. I think that should be unanimous to, to talk about it. Mr. Mr. Medrano? I'm concerned about the legality. Uh, I've never been in a meeting where we redo something a half an hour after it's been discussed. Should we put, make it or th do this thing at the next meeting, or is it legal to do it now? That's all I'm questioning. It's up to the board. Um, as, a, as a board, you would need to vote as to whether or not you're going to do it tonight. Right. or whether or not you're going to consider it at the next meeting. Um, if you vote to do it tonight, that's a vote in and of itself, and then you would need to go ahead and take that vote. Or if, you, if that vote fails, if, you're, if you fail to get approval by the board to vote on it tonight, then you could subsequently vote to consider it at the, another meeting. Ms. Ms. Cronenberg? I move that we re-deliberate on the matter. Is there a second? Okay. It's been moved and second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed? Nay. Nay. Passes 4-1. So